Yeah, we're back down the bar again. No change there then. It's uh, Saturday evening. Just waiting for the game to kick off. Down the bar on my own. Locked down. No one's invited, of course. Well, no one's allowed. Um, Man you Arsenal in a minute. I'm not sure who I'm supporting. It's got to be Arsenal, I suppose, isn't it? London club and all that. But uh, my daughter's boyfriend's a Man U boy, so... Normally with football, I'm not an avid fan of football, but normally with football, I sort of... I don't know why, I just lean towards the winning team. Just the way I go. That's the way I am. Can't help myself. Or I like the underdog, you know, like when they're losing and they come through, like, you know what I mean? I don't like it seems to get win, win, win all the time. Loads of money, loads of decent players. Spend money left, right and centre and get all the best team, best players, don't they? And they win everything. A bit annoying. A bit like Liverpool, really. So I'm down here on my own. I thought I'd do one of my little pub rambling videos, to be honest with you. Um, my next real proper video will be a bed. I want to convert that bench seat into a bed. Uh... My drone, I want to get the drone out, but the weather's been atrocious in Essex. It's just rain, rain, rain. I wouldn't mind if we had a bit of snow. Because sometimes you get some nice mornings and evenings with a bit of snow, a bit of settles and that. You get some clear, nice evenings. <coughs> Excuse me. But all we've had is rain, rain, rain. Nothing but bloody rain. There's floods left, right and centre. So uh, I popped into work this morning, done my favour as usual. As you do. And uh, I'm like that, you know. I did lots of favours. A bit charity, really, me. For the charity work, me. Um... Yeah, I was going to do some jobs, go around my daughters, but the weather was a bit crap, so I let the missus do that, because I've had a nice quiet afternoon. I've not even had a sleep today, I've not even shut my eyes. When you're my age, you like a little lunchtime sleep, didn't you? And I'll save that for when I'm at work, I suppose. Anyway, I'm waiting for the game to kick off. Just wanted to have a chat about the beers I've got here. Now, what, what the situation is, I've run out of beer. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much destitute at the moment. It's getting very sad, it is. I've not had a lager for a couple of weeks, I don't think. Anyway, I've been drinking these hours. I drank the shell dried last week, but I've decided... Um, Sylvia, God bless her, my um, sister-in-law, bought me for Christmas a box of these classic... Let's get a box of the classic owls. So I'm going to get through these, and I'm going to see how many I can do. Well, I'm not going to do a lot, you know. Don't get drunk on him, do we? So thank you, Sylvie, for them. Um, so, although I've got a thirsty ferret, well, these are nice. Some kind old gentleman gave me them for Christmas. So we'll have a couple of these. I've got one more under them over on the shelf. So I'll have that. I just wanted to show you. So what was in the box? I don't know what's any good. So traditional Scottish beer, McEwan's Levy or Levy, is it? 3.2 bit weak really isn't it 3.2 but you don't even too strong do you but that's you don't too many well you've been drinking 20 of those bastards wouldn't you so ringwood brewery a razorback exceptionally refreshing amber craft owl 3.6 percent they're getting stronger i might open that so that that's like i'm drinking that in a bottle should put in a glass really shouldn't i bombardier now i've heard of that bombardier that's the one down the old pub isn't it i've heard that's quite popular i think 4.7% 4, 4. volume, sorry, alcohol. Bombardier Eagle Brewery, British Hot Amber Beer. We've got one of them. So I don't know what to do, work my way along the line. I'll put it on Facebook, you know. I don't know recommend what one to drink first, but no one said anything yet. Take Courage, Best Bitter. Well, I'm assuming that's a bit of a slogan, so it's not Take Courage, it's Courage. Courage, Best Bitter. Cards are over years of blah, 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 but it's 3.6%. It's not all about percentage of volume. We've known that, don't make it too strong. Ah, oh, what's this puppy? 4.5. Amber Ale. Pedigree. Oh, Marston's Brewery. Yeah, I've heard of Marston's. Yeah, another classic. Well, it's out of the classic owl box, so it's got to be a classic, hasn't it? Everyone's heard of Directors. Directors Superior Owl. 4.8%. Brewed to the stand. It's another courage one. Down the end there, we've got the old Hobgoblin. Now, that didn't come in that set. That's a five point. That'd go down nice, though, though. So, that's empty. I did that last. I didn't drink that tonight, by the way. I did that last week. So, I'll do this first, you ferret. It's nearly half five, so we've got to kick off in a minute. 
Arsenal Mania, as I just mentioned. Yeah, so I've got the bar lights on, I've got the ceiling lights on, I've got the strip lights on in the bar, all run by Alexa. Watch my other video. <coughs> Excuse me. Garden lights are on, and the outside lights are on, on the, on the um, shed, or the cabin, or whatever you want to call it, and they're in red. So I thought that was quite topical. Um, those particular GU10 Alexa bulbs, or smart control bulbs, not Alexa bulbs, they're controlled by Alexa. Those particular bulbs are... Um, uh, I've got different colours, different uh, different brightnesses you can adjust via Alexa or Google Home or whatever and you put them on different colours so I thought it would be quite novel to turn them red so I don't know who I'm supporting tonight, red and look at the screen now, Arsenal in red so um, right let's just show you the beers I've got left down because I might have to go down to shops tomorrow because of lockdown I don't like shopping you have to wear a mask, I don't know about you people if you wear glasses and a mask Pain in the backside, you get steamed up. So I'm like in and out of shops as quick as possible, trying to breathe down the bottom of the mask, trying to breathe out the top of the mask. It's embarrassing, you take your glass if you can't see a thing. You know, you put in a petrol station, what pump you at, mate? If you don't know your pump number, you're stuffed. What pump you at, mate? You look out the window, you can't see the pump number. Put your glass on, you're steamed up. Embarrassing. They should make masks for people like us glasses wearers, you know? Or get the vaccine out as quick as possible. We won't have to wear these bloody masks every five minutes. Or, well, I shouldn't say this really, but send the women down for the beers. Or, or your mums or dads or whatever. So I might, might venture out tomorrow lunchtime-ish, I think. And stock up on a few, get a few boxes, I think. I've gone off log a bit now, and I don't know whether to get some logs or not. Well, I've got, I'm a Foster's boy, but I keep going back to Foster's, but I have gone off Foster's. I have gone off Foster's. Um, Foster's, if you're watching this, feel free to send me a box of Foster's. Convert me back on the Foster's, up to you. But these owls do go down well. There's no gas in them, and they're, they're smooth as you like. Mm. Must be an old man's thing, I think. They're going down well. Let me just show you first what's on the shelf before. We've got to kick off now. Let me just show you what's on the shelf. Um, I'll grab a camera. I'll show you what I've got. Oh, kick off. Right, so these are the beers. I've got on the shelf at the moment. Now, these dark fruit strongbow ciders, and I've got some at the back here. Magnus originals. But these will be for old Frankie Boy in the summer when he comes around for a barbecue. Frankie Boy, if you're watching this, these have been saved for you, son. Not a problem. Brew dogs, my daughter's boyfriend brought them at Christmas. I might do them, don't know yet. Don't know what that old thing is. I think that's from my dad's. Um, Cockbird, me, I'll be off. These go down well. Now, I found a fursy ferret there, look. I know that fursy ferret. Yeah. Um, Colin. Young Colin. They're all saved for you as well, son. Because you like a few of the old ciders, didn't you, mate, when you come round? Now, my glasses, my beer glasses, I reckon, are all indoors in the dishwasher. Or... My two sons use them. They drink water like, or whatever, coat with powder. I like to go out of fashion. So I need to go to the house and nick my glasses back because they're disappearing. So on the old top shelf, what have we got here? These Peaky Blinders ones that keep coming up on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, you'll see them. I've got the Bourbon Whiskey, Spice Dry Gin and the Rum. I've not touched them yet. Um, again, they're another drink for the old summer, sitting out in the garden, really. Joe's Cider, we bought that from my son, Joe. Joe's side, you can't touch that because that's Joe's. Uh, that's my cocktail set. Mum bought me that whiskey for Christmas, so that's gonna. Again, I'm not gonna sit and drink whiskey on my own, I don't think. I don't like open that. Uh, what have we got up here? Barrels I've got from my old man, my dad, God bless him. RIP, dad. Gentleman Jack, is that any good? You tell me. This Bell's one is in a special proper bell thing big fancy bell look I'm not even sure if you're meant to open it is it okay to open anyone know anything about whiskey is that any good could I open that is it safe to open or is it like collector's item I'm not sure front you know does whiskey how long does whiskey last for? does it last forever this one here this gentleman's jack has that been opened yeah it's been opened Pims Pims o'clock that always goes down well doesn't it in the summer gin that was given to me by someone got some golden gin uh, pink and normal gin around the back, back there pink gin at the back Bacardi. What have I got at the back there? Baileys. Oh, the pole. That was bought for my 50th birthday. 
I'm assuming that's our coaching. Now Bailey's, that always goes down well. Now Malibu, now Bailey's and Malibu, but my mate's uh, daughter came around the other week and I think the Malibu's hers. We're not allowed to touch that. Yeah, actually I've got a feeling there's not much left. Yeah, that is hers, there's not much left. Oh, it's missed. Get yourself one of these. Everywhere I go, I grab an Irish mist. It's my little challenge when I go abroad to grab an Irish mist. Bottle there was a gift, and the bottle there was a gift. And the one at the front, I've, I've had a little tip every now and again. You can drink that on your own, it's not a problem. What's around the back there? Let's have a little look. What we got? Oh, a cognac thing. Oh, I think that was Remy's dad's. Alright, that's that. That's the drink situation. If we come down here, I think you'll see the fridge is pretty empty. I've got no beer in a bag. Look. One lonely little bloody. What's that? Prosecco, I think, for Christmas. Better on Christmas and a couple of like, bloody KDs, whatever they are. Can't get colder. It's a sad, sad situation. On that note, I'm going to take this fuzzy ferret. Then I'm going to uh, have that, I think. Well, that was a little toilet drink I've got left on the shelf. Um, as I say, I might go tomorrow and get some more beers. Should I get some like, I should get some ales? To restock a nice selection of beers. You're looking at 50, 60 quid's worth, really, didn't you? I'll get a couple of boxes, I suppose, but um, since this lockdown, I'll cut right back. It's a shame you can't have people around, really. Just a bloody shame. I can't wait. I think they're saying that you can't, in the UK, I don't know where you, you are watching this, but in the UK, I think they're saying you can't go, well, looks like we're not going abroad this year. Um, but it's a pain in the backside, I think. I don't know. I've got a feeling in the UK, I don't know about you people, I've got a feeling in the UK, whatever the holidays, the prices will be going up on the UK holidays because you can't go abroad, everyone will be wanting a holiday in the UK. So the holiday places lost so much money, who can blame them for putting their prices up? So they'll be shooting sky high. Um, if you're not going abroad this year in the UK and you haven't got children, mine have grown up now, so we'll start going abroad more. And we, we go outside of the school holidays now, beginning of school holidays, before they start, sorry, or just after the end of school holidays. Now, if those school holidays now, the sad thing is that's when it's the hot weather in the UK, so we normally go abroad. But if we're stuck in the UK, which is not a bad thing, it's, it's a lovely country, you want to go when it's, you've got the better weather, which I think is school holidays, which means school holidays means the prices will be up even higher. So um, we'll see, eh? Um, or do I go back down to Cornwall? See my other videos. Cornwall's lovely, a bit of a trek from where I am, but a uh, lovely place to visit. Right, so that's the first ferret done. Just so you know, I don't want to get you too bored, and I know I'm uh, mumbling on a little bit, but um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm watching the football at the moment. I've got two, three screens, one there, one there, one there. I've got more TVs than my local pub. Well, I haven't got any down because it's posh, but, but uh, or one of them anyway. Five minutes in, six minutes in, nil nil. Arsenal on the ball. Rash was over. Was he the one that done all the thing with the food, wasn't he, for the kids? Good man, top man, Rashford. Um, well, lad. Right, I'll crack up this first ferret. I'm getting involved in this football now. It's quite a good screen, that. Quite a good quality, the old telly. That's from years, years old, that one. Oh, two of them, I threw one away. That's the kids' TVs, they were the old. I think they've got a little drive at the back of them, old fashioned drive. Got a screen there, because one broke, my neighbour. Um, sort of, it was his idea to move it and it broke, so my sister in law, who bought these beers, actually gave me that TV. Or did I buy it? I think she gave it to me. I think, I don't know. There's meant to be a mark on it, so I can't see the mark on it. No, I've got the big old one from the house in there, up there, which is my old plasma. They last for years, the old plasmas. Don't say that touch wood, I don't know, packing up. But uh, yeah, TVs are so cheap now at the bar, aren't they? Rest going down well, yeah. If you watch my other videos, talking, thinking about that, thinking about beer, if you watch my other videos, beer in a bag videos. Hang on. I'm looking up the garden again, just checking. See if anyone's approaching. Yeah, if you look, watch my other videos, beer in a bag videos, I've got a few online at the moment on, on YouTube. Um, I haven't got a beer in a bag fixed yet. Tell you what, I might buy a beer in a bag. Thinking about it. I'll just pull it through then, can't I? 
out of these. I could fill these bottles with water and put them on display. They go, they go down well. Owls, you can drink out of a bottle or a, in a glass or out of the pump. It doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I think lager needs to be pulled through a tap, really, doesn't it? Lager, Foster's and all the other lagers. But um, that's another setup completely. I'm not going down that route. Watch another video. If you want to go down that route, watch another video. I can't justify it. Kegs, chillers, the pumps, the lines, all that. I don't think any of you... Uh, nah, not doing it. I'd be I'd be dangerous. I'd I'd be for pulling through logs left, right, and centre. Me and my other half ran a well. We she was an assistant manager years and years ago at a pub, a local pub, the Anchor Pub down in Holbridge in Essex. And um, yeah, the management couple went on holiday, so we ran it and we stayed upstairs for a couple of weeks. It was the best and worst two weeks of my life. Put it that way. The good old days well, I was young then, young and, um, you know, young and stupid, shall we say. Got this from my dad's, by the way. Or from me, off my mum, actually. Used to be my dad's. This is old, quite old, this collector's item. But what you do, you put it on your bar, because you can't smoke anymore, so you won't get a lot of these about. But that, put your old bottle tops in there, look. Keep them tidy. Yeah, we ran the pub down, uh, down in Holbridge for a little while. A couple of uh, weeks and uh, it's fatal and you try and have a night off the booze and i had so many like mates knocking about in uh binny rich binny if you're watching he was one of the cold brits and uh, i had a few too many beers every every night i was working i got in one night and i was like right that's it no more beer tonight it's like wednesday tuesday wednesday night no more beer tonight you go downstairs working darling because she was like running the show at the time excuse me you go downstairs working i'll start upstairs watch on tv and when you're up Stairs of a pub, all you're going to hear is the voices downstairs. And my mate Richard, he's got quite a. Uh, his voice sort of sticks out a little bit. You go, Where's Johnny Boy? Where's oh, no, my mum? Oh, come down, come down, come down. I didn't want to go down, I didn't want to go down. I've got work in the morning. Come down, come down. No, I feel shit. I felt shit all day at work. I don't want to come down, Richard. Benny, I don't want to come down, mate. You know, they're shouting up, get Johnny down, get Johnny down. No, he's not allowed down, he's not allowed down. He's come down. Just don't forget you're upstairs at a pub. So you walk downstairs, beyond the bar, well, not beyond the bar, with the lads. And like, your missus is there, you're at the banter. And in the old days, pubs were packed. People were smoking indoors and all that. Cool. That was shit, that's another story. But, uh, oh, my, back on it again, won't we? Another night, another night. Another time she was doing the tills, I had a few too many drinks on a Friday night. Everyone had gone home, she was doing the tills, catching up the tills. I was getting on her nerves, winding up, I think. And uh, put, oh, have a beer, have a beer, pour myself a couple of pints, like you do. And she went upstairs, go downstairs, go downstairs, have a beer, have a couple of beers, just put the money in, in the in the pot, sort of thing. Go downstairs, go downstairs, nice, quiet. The whole part of myself, oh, mate, I think I was 20 odd. And I'd be on the bar putting myself a pint of lager. And it's just this weird thing, because it's free, you just pour yourself another one, you go, oh, lovely, two beers. And then I heard the tapping on the window, tap, 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 tap. That's my brother, I think he was living in Essex at the time, I was moved to Bristol, but that's my brother. Let him in, and me and him were just like, yeah, mate, me and my brother just had a nice old drink that night. And another night, just tell you, just um, quickly, another night, another night, uh, the alarms went off. Everyone's drunk, everyone's gone home, the alarms went off. So, uh, being a bit of a boy in the old days, I've gone down because the, the landlord used to have a baseball bat. I don't think you have baseball bats anymore. You can't really carry walk around baseball bats, I don't think, anymore. The landlord had a baseball bat, so I'm in my bloody pants and my boxer shorts, and I? If you want to see me in my boxer shorts, by the way, watch my other video, my toilet video, you'll see me in my boxer shorts. But not you don't, don't see that, obviously, I'm just, just being stupid. But yes, yeah, so I've gone down and bar in my boxer shorts. I'm staggering around a bloody pub, his big pub, staggering around a pub, his bloody baseball bat like this, waving it, where are you, where are you? Because the alarm's gone off, I'm thinking there's burglars. Totally stupid, stupid thing to do. A uh, little tip for you, if you get burglars or you run in a pub, don't ever attack burglars or confront them with a baseball bat, it's not the correct thing to do. Totally stupid, don't do it. Let me just finish that, right, it's nice that is. Um, yeah, tap, tap, tap on the window, tap, tap on the window. What? Shit, it's all kicking off. Next man, I know. We look through the window, all steaming at white window, clear. Beep, 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 who's that? It's the old Bill outside, isn't it? The police have come down. So I've let them in. I'm standing with a baseball bat in my bloody box, in my pants, in my boxer shorts. Aye, 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 what's going on here then? 
that was as good as gold in the old days. That was as good as gold. I don't know about now, but that was as good as gold. That's like yeah, they understood what had happened. I didn't realise the alarm system was fixed was um, connected to the bloody police station. So the alarm's gone off, unbeknown to me. The police have been alerted. Good system. I do happen to stay, I suppose. They've come straight down. Two cars outside. Walking around the building. They've seen me inside in my pants with a bloody baseball bat thinking, what's going on here? But they was as good as gold. I don't think it was... I think it's just a bloody moth or something that set it off, don't know. Anyway, another little story for you. And that was the week I wrote two cars off. I won't bore you that story. But I went down a little dodgy lane near us, went round a bend, spanned the car. Uh, I think it was in the evening. Well, anyway, whatever. And then at the time, you know, in the good old days, I managed to scrape together some money, buy another car. Two weeks later, went down the same lane in the morning on another bend, spanned around a bend, put the car on its bloody... I think the first time I went into a field and drove into the farmer's field, he wasn't happy. Wrote out, wrote off the car and wrote off a, a telegraph pole, a lamp post. They weren't happy about that. And then two weeks later, I scraped together some money, two weeks later, uh, I spanned the motor up on its side. This is in the old days. The mobile phones had just sort of come out. I spanned on its side, it spanned on its door, on the door. And I remember my sandwiches, because I was going to work, I packed it down, my sandwiches flew out of the bloody car, all the windscreens crashed, crashed and um, smashed. I was lucky I got away with it. I, I didn't get injured at all. I, I've been lucky, really. And uh, I'll never forget that, because the car went on its side, and it blocked the road both directions. And to get out of the car, it's a true story, to get out of the car, I had to open the passenger door and climb out like a bloody submarine. And there's some guys there, Push the car onto its four wheels because I was blocking both lanes. Some builders there. Oh, you're right, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. They pushed it into a, a labour bit of the farmer's field. I was going to start it. I'm trying to start it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stupidly. And I, you don't think, do you? There's petrol. Because I had a petrol button in those days. Petrol come out all, all out of the tank, all over the road. Well, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, shit. So lucky they were there. Excuse me. So, well, yeah, that was it. So, yeah, right. Two cars in two weeks. These are stories that I tell down the pub every now and again, and people are like, you know, I've got no one to tell them to anymore, so I just tell them to YouTube, didn't you? Am I going to still do these videos when um, this lockdown's finished? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll continue, but we'll have time. I don't know. They've rolled out the vaccine in my area. I don't know about you, I don't know where you're from. I know it's on my YouTube channels. Most people that watch my channels. Uh, from UK, Canada, America, and a few other countries, but I don't know what's going on in those places. Leave comments below if you want. It'd be nice to get some feedback from people. Um, yeah, I don't know. The UK news, for some reason, has gone quiet. Last summer, when the COVID thing started kicking off, they was doing the news about all the different countries. For some reason, we don't hear a lot about other countries. It's just the UK. Uh, we've got the vaccine here. As far as I'm aware, we didn't shut the borders down quick enough, like New Zealand or Australia. I think New Zealand predominantly is on the news a lot. Isle of Man, I think, or something like that. They shut the border and they did it straight. Apparently, if we did it straight away, we would have confined the virus and it would have just depleted itself. And we, the people that had it, would have thought you know the immune system would have built up and that. But because we didn't do that, incoming. Um, I think what the government doing now in the UK is what, what we're in then. We're in January. I don't know if you know. We're in, we're in January, end of Jan. Uh, on Monday, it's February. 30th tomorrow, Jan. Um, excuse me. So, yeah, it seems like we didn't do things right at the right time. I talked to a guy at work about this the other day. I remember right there was a big football game, so he said, he's a Liverpool boy. But I remember the Cheltenham. Oh, shut up. I mean, I'm busy. I remember the. I'm talking talking to myself. I remember a guy at work mentioned about some big football game, but I remember the Cheltenham, football, um, Cheltenham horse race last year, and it was a big, big thing, and the government didn't have the balls to stop the race. It it was sort of like the day after COVID came out, and uh, I think it was like a day after, but they should have there and then said, right, that's it, stop. But it's a big, big decision for the government to make, I suppose. They, they wasn't quite sure how bad, no one knows how bad it's gonna be, do they? You hear about these virus things. Who would have thought today, like, like last year, say two years ago, if you'd said to 
my family, friends, old and young, we all wear masks. We wouldn't have worn masks. When you saw these TV programs and you saw, you saw the news, the Chinese and Japanese, well, I think the Chinese have been wearing masks for years because of pollution. Every now and again you see a couple through London because of pollution. We're wearing a mask. You think, what are they doing wearing masks? And now we're all wearing them. I was one of the last ones to sort of wear one. Now we're all at work and home and I'm leaving it on my car sometimes. I'm, I can't see what I'm bloody doing. I can't see a thing, but they actually keep your face warm now, didn't they? They do keep your face warm. Um, yeah, let's, well, oh, come on, I was saying now. It's firstly ferric, cool, it's nice. Well, I'm going to reconvene, get me thoughts together. I'm going to turn the camera off. Watch a bit of football and relax. Check my phone and see what's going on. I'll check it now, actually. See if there's anything important. I won't tell you about me walking boots. I won't, don't want to bore you about me walking boots. You might pop around for a quiet beer the other one day, but, you know, at least locking things treats people different ways. But I'm lucky that I've got a nice family and, and that. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I said, we'll pop around a beer. You sit over there. I'll sit over here or whatever, out of the way. We'll keep separate and masks or whatever, hand sanitizer. We had a couple of drinks. And uh, we end up ordering some walking boots because we used to do a bit of running together, believe it or not. 10Ks, half marathons. I won't bore you about that, but I've done 10Ks and half marathons, 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons. Got a lot of medals. If you want to see them, let me know. Um, you probably don't, but uh, I put on a little bit away now, but yeah, I could get back in, I suppose, if I wanted to. But my knee, knee hurt, my feet, foot hurt, my leg hurt, my arm hurt. Uh, you know, it's cold and damp and wet out, do you know what I mean? So, um, he started doing a bit of walking, a bit of fresh air with his family and that. Get your fit. So he said, oh, look, I've got these walking boots. Look, I've seen his walking boots for sale. There's a sound. I think it was go outdoors. So I've got one of his vouchers, his cars, his discount cars. Never, ever, ever used it. So he bought his walking boots. He bought a pair. I thought I'd buy a pair. I'll do a bit of walking, keep fit. And my other half bought some. Excuse me. Bargain they were. Oh, pound has 120 on quid, knocked down to 30 quid. He bought a pair, I bought a pair, three or four days later. By the way, thank you, go outdoors. Yeah, oh, we haven't got them in stock. Well, why bloody am on your website? Ridiculous. Oh, I hate places like that. You can't beat Amazon. Long story short, I wasn't going to mention the boots, but he said, oh, look, I bought another pair. We went home anyway, and day two to three days later, he went home and said, look, John, I bought these boots. It's me mate, Michael Bollock. Look, John, I bought these boots. I'm copying them. a big deal. They were 40, 50 quid. You can't get a lot for 50 quid walking boats, but I'm not going to spend more than that, nor is he, I don't think. They're muck about boats, really. I probably won't even use them. Like a good friend of mine. I'm, I, it's a standing joke with me, really. I've got more hobbies than I can count, you know. A, a friend of mine phoned me up and said, I'll tell you what, John, I'll get you a cabinet, like a glass cabinet. I said, what's that for, mate? What's that for, Brian? Oh, you put your boots in them, you know, along with your canoe and your bike and your judo kit and all that. Because I've done a few, I have had a few hobbies. So anyway, I wasn't going to tell you about the boots, but I finished off what I'm saying. So, so these boots, he ordered a pair, I ordered a pair. He got his today. I mean, two week delivery. I don't think it's good enough. I could get boots through from Amazon in a couple of days. Two week delivery, right? What by Royal Mail? They didn't dispatch them for a, a week, and then they come through by Royal Mail. Ridiculous. These firms are going bust left, right, and that is why. You're not going to survive in this day and age if your service is like that. He ordered a size 9, he's size 8, he never told him that. I ordered a size 9, but I'm a size 9 anyway. So, yeah. anyway, cut a long story short, it came through today. Size 9 on the box, open month, that's size 11. I mean, I could get away with size 10s, but they're size 11, they're massive. Who's that? They're massive. I mean, so now I've got to send them back. I sent them a bit of a nasty email with it. Oh, we're not open, we're open, we're open Monday to Friday. Rubbish. I won't be using them again. I'm going to send them back and I want the postage, right? I'm not paying for postage for my boots to be sent back. No chance. On that note, right, I'm going to send these boots back. That's another story. On that note, did I tell you the other day about my drone? Oh, and the thing from Amazon. Right, my drone I sent to Netherlands, wherever, via UPS, whatever it's called. UPS or UPS? USP, whatever it is, UPS. Took it to the shop, bagged it up, scanned it, done. My Amazon product, it was like a heat gun thing, whatever. You don't even know what it was. My Amazon product, 
They said, just don't even pack it up in a bag. Don't do anything with it. Just take it to the shop and show them the barcode. So I literally, this is unbelievable, right? Get this. So I took this thing in the box, put a little bit of tape on it in case you needed to put some paperwork in it. It didn't. I put, uh, I took it to the shop. Gave it to some guy, good as gold. I said, all right, mate, that's all I've got. It's not bagged up. There's no label, there's no address. I said, oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's not the accident, actually. I think he was Indian, but anyway. So... <laughs> So, it's put it, it's put it in a, it's scanned, that's it, that's it, so I've got my phone, I've got a barcode on my phone from Amazon, he just scanned it, put it in a bloody plastic bag, job done, he done it for me. As I'm standing there, I'll get a text or a message, come up, um, your aunt has been received, as I'm walking to my car, Amazon have refunded me. I so said, what, these boots, I've got to send them back to the post, I've got to wrap them up, send them back to the shop, and I've got to pay the bleeding postage. Oh, then I've got to get the refund, then I've got to beg them for a, a, I think they said something about a part refund. No, give me the bloody money now, the boots are no good. You put them in the wrong box. Twat. I'm trying to keep myself fit, trying to start up a new hobby, and this is what happens, right? You try and start up a new hobby, and this is what happens. People are against you all the time. It's so easy to just go down the pub or just go and get some beers and sit at the bar and have a beer. That's what gets me. Sometimes everyone's against you. What's the score? Nil, nil. Oh, good game. Yeah, it's wearing me up about those boots. If they'd been all right, I would have kept them, but they can't even put the right boots in the right box. Two weeks delivery, and then I've got to wrap them up. I've got to find some paper, wrap them up with my time, in my paper, my tape, and write the address on a label, take them to the shop, and oh, can you refund me, please? Yeah, we'll refund you. When am I going to get that? Another two weeks? Can I be postage back, please? What's that going to cost me? Post them back. This is why Amazon is taking over, right? You little shops, are you listening? You little shops, you've got to sort your lives out, because you will be bust. You will be bust. You're not going to keep up. I won't mention the shop name again, but you will, you won't last. It's only a small, well, I don't know if it's a small store or not. It could be a, some sort of broker type of thing, you know, they could be getting shoes from abroad, I don't know. It could be just a website. I call you my mate Michael. I blame him, mate. Michael, if you're watching this, I blame you for this. You put me on to that. I'm going to go get my own boots. So I'll just walk into a bloody decathlon or go outdoors, try them on, done. But, uh, am I desperate for walking boots? Not really. I'll wear me f excuse my language. I wear my cart boots, my vast cart boots, which I haven't worn yet. <clears throat> I can wear them for walking, I suppose. Watch my other video, by the way. That's a link there. Oh, I better go, because I'm mumbling on, and um, I might try. What beer should I have next, then? I've done the old Thirsty Ferret. That's two of those. Hobgoblin's gone already. Oh, I don't know. I catch you in a beer, because my camera's going to melt. I haven't switched it off yet. I'm, well, I do go on a bit. when I'm, I've only had a couple of beers. I can't drink anymore. I can't do it. I've got a couple, I think I might knock on the head. Well, I'm not going to knock on the head. Roll on the pub's open. We don't want to go mad. We just want to walk down the pub, go to the bar. We've, like, say, four fig at the bar. Three or four. I haven't been to a pub for a whole year, virtually, where there's been, like, two or three people at the bar. Like deep, you know? It's always sit over there, sit over there, sit separate. We want to go, I want to stand at the bar with some mates and watch the footy. Wee! I can't remember the last time I staggered back from the pub and got a kebab. And the missus, she's had a go at me like, oh, what are you doing, falling asleep? Can't remember. But the thing is, I haven't lost weight. I don't know why. I've lost bloody weight. You'd think you'd lose weight, wouldn't you? Right, I must go. I'm not. But, you know, I can't just sit here talking to myself. This is bloody madness. Absolute madness. <laughs> I might be back. If I'm not back, cheers. Um, I don't know whether to say hope you enjoy the video or not, really. Do you enjoy videos like this? I'm not sure. I mean, this is a lockdown video. I would never have done this before in my life. I've never done anything like this before. I'm talking to a camera to myself. People watch this. Family members going, you're going mad. You are cracking up. You are cracking up. You know, I mean, fam people... My Friends and family, well, I ain't got many friends, to be honest, but, uh, well, have I? I suppose I have. But, I might be back in a minute, I'm not sure. So I'll say goodbye now, cheers. I'll do that, I'll go, cheers. But what I'll do, if I don't see you again in the video, 
if I do see it in the yeah, sorry, if I don't see you again in the video, cheers, bye. I might pop back in a minute. But I might, in fact that could be the end. What I'm trying to say is look right, keep an eye out, my next video <laughs> will be my next video will be I'm gonna do some drone shots, do some drone videos. I wanna do some fishing videos. I bought myself a little perch rod. I wanna get back on track. I bought myself a little perch rod. I mean mate Brian and a few people are gonna take me out on the riverbank if we can get together. Uh, I might do a little video putting some line on the reel. The reels, they're not like carp reels, they're dinky, they're like this. Tiny, tiny little things, lovely. I got that in October for my birthday, the reel. I bought myself the rod and I got a net over there. It's not even took the label off it yet. So I want to put a reel on, I, put, I think you put braid on. Not the reel, you put you put braid on the, the reel. Then you put a little length of uh, mono, which I bought, I bought with that. I bought some little um, hooks and some lures. I've never ever done it before because I did carp fishing, float fishing and that. But, um, I'm gonna go along to Paper Mill Lock, another video I've got, or Little River, Rivers in Essex and do a bit of perch fishing and that. Just flick it about, have a walk. Apparently you don't sit down, you just walk along the bank, flick, 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 see what you catch. And I'll do a video for that. I'll do a video setting it all up and I'll do a video fishing. And then I'll do a video of me selling all the gear on eBay or getting rid of it, because uh, that'll be another hobby out of the way. And then I want to get back to do some carp fishing. So I'm just looking at my calendar now. I'm looking at booking off. Uh, we've got February next week. Then we're soon we'll be in week, uh, March, I think. It's March. It's March Easter. I might book a few days off either side of that. So you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I love an Easter weekend. Or will the pubs be open by then? I'm not sure. I think that someone mentioned they might be open. Not that it's all about the pubs, of course. As, 